Hey everybody, um, as you know, I like to pump out a lot of uh, a lot of YouTube videos because it just keeps me distracted from when I'm not in the um, setup time. So earlier today, I said that um, I did say that the ES this this move down was all uh, well. I mean, it was a real move down, right? But it was just um, a normal. AM silver bullet came right down. The trading algorithms converged on this volume imbalance that I'm highlighting here. And now we're moving up into liquidity. So we will see what the PM silver bullet offers. Um, I think I made like 1.5K or something on that. Uh, I am flat now. Um, it is New York lunch. And so uh, I was going to hold on one contract, but after I'm up, I think, 4K on the day, that was uh, good enough for me. So. Um, one of the things about your Apex account is that your trailing stop follows you. So I, I don't want to even like mess with it. Once I see that I'm back up to near a full $7,500 trailing stop, I just uh, usually will just close out the trade. Um, so uh, the, the purpose of this video is for Cosmic Karma because um, I have misstated some one of uh, Michael's concepts in the past, um, and that is the concept of the order block. So. At some point in the past, um, I have mentioned that the order block has something that, something to do with orders, which would make it sound like it's um, that Michael's order blocks are um, something to do with supply and demand, basically. And so, out of respect for Michael and making sure that I'm correcting my mistakes when I, I misstate one of his uh, his models are his work. Okay, I'm borrowing it, and I'm appreciative of his work. But I don't want to disrespect him and disrespect karma by not correcting myself uh, when I'm wrong. So let's get to an example of an order block. So an order block, uh, and I'm going to use almost verbatim what Michael says about it. An order block is a change in the state of delivery. It is a key pivoting, a key pivot point, a turning place in the marketplace where the market was offering buy side or sell side, and then it pivoted to um, offering opposite. And it should be formed with a displacement or with a, a fair value gap and inefficiency on the way. So take an example here of an order block um, that I'm, I'm going to highlight right here. They're all over the place. So I mean, order blocks are not uncommon. Um, these two, these three green candles are the two green candles and the one doji candle. When price uh, trades below, it does not need to close below. When price trades below, the open of the first candle that these three candles then if it's paired if it forms it with a fair value gap or with an inefficiency on the way so we do have displacement here we do have a fair value gap this is what qualifies as an order block it has nothing to do I'm gonna repeat Michael out of respect for him um, has nothing to do with the orders that's just a name for the pattern but it, it it's just an algorithmic signature you can see that the algorithm trades back into trading algorithms the algorithm trades back into the upper portion of this order block into this fair value gap that I'm highlighting with the cursor prior to moving down okay so an order block is a change in the state of delivery and it should come with a displacement with an inefficiency it does not need to close below the order block in order for it to become an order block an order block has nothing to do with the orders themselves. It is not a supply and demand concept. It is an algorithmic signature that price will tend to want to refer back to, that trading algorithms will want to refer back to in the future. And so in order to correct misstatements that I've made in the past, I wanted to get this video out there. Um, as you all know, I have huge respect for Michael, so I don't want to um, misstate his concepts. Now, as you know, I don't really use the order block as my primary model for trading. I do use it in part uh, to get excellent entries. As you know, I trade ICT silver bullet model, but a part of that usually will include an order block. So it's not my primary model of his that I, that I trade, but in order to um, correct the record, in order to make sure that you know I'm respecting him, uh, I'm just going to correct myself again one more time. An order block is a change in the state of delivery that shows that the marketplace was offered to the buy side and then to the sell side or from sell side to buy side. It could be one, two, three, 
eight candles. It could be um, multiple candles. It could be a single candle. When it's multiple candles, an order block is just going to be uh, the series of candles. So if you have multiple up-close candles like this in a row, these three candles taken as a whole, once price trades below the first candles open, trades below, doesn't need to close below, once it trades below the first candles open, these three up-close candles now taken together become an order block. And using ICT's um, classic logic, we can either take our FIB, our 25% to our 75%, we can take it into quarters, and we can pull it from the uh, either the uh, low to the high of the order block or from open to uh, close of the order block. You can use the candle bodies or you can use the candle wicks. Um, in, in different circumstances, if the wicks are too long, you probably want to use the bodies. If the wicks are not so long, so like here the wicks are not terribly long, I'd probably use the, um, I would use the wicks of the candles. But let's say you could also do the same thing with, um, with the uh, bodies of the candles. As you can see, as price traded back into this order block, the closes of this next swing, the closes, not the wicks, but the closes respected the mean threshold of this order block or the 50% of this order block prior to moving lower. That is an algorithmic signature along with the fact that it traded into this fair value gap. But it's an algorithmic signature that price is going to respect uh, respect this level and then uh, s seek liquidity lower, meaning it's going to go attack liquidity to the sell side in this instance. So that is my correction um, of order blocks. Um, I want to make sure that every time that I'm misstating one of uh, Michael's theories, if I'm, if, if, uh, you know, if I'm making a mistake, I'm trying not to do that. Uh, but if I do, if I do do that out of respect for Michael, I'm going to come back and I'm going to correct myself. And so in this video, I corrected prior misstatements that I made about order blocks. Again, nothing to do with supply and demand at all whatsoever. Nothing to do with orders, nothing like that. So that is it, and we'll talk to you soon.